everybody to the uh, Wi-Fi of everything. I'm Robert Boardman. And I'm Roel Dionisio. So, we're here today, as we're at the beginning of this YouTube show, we thought we would start with kind of a beginning lesson on wireless. So Kind of, a, well, a high level, right? Yeah, we're going to talk about level. selecting access points, which ones you should select, and what's available from none other than Cisco, because we're here at Cisco in the wireless lab. The infamous Building 14. Building 14, yeah. where they build, what, they write up documentation? Yes, I think they're Deployment doing... guides and data, data sheets. sheets. That's yes. what it was, yeah. So all those data sheets that you read, or you should be reading before you buy your yes. equipment, yes. that's all made here. They test it out. As you can see, there's a nice lab behind us. Pretty so, impressive. Just pretty blinking lights, right? Yeah, there's no one there. Okay. Yeah, that's working. Um, so yeah, so we thought we'd start with, let's move my water here. And we will start with kind of the two main models of deploying APs, or deploying wireless, not APs. Um, you have basically a standalone where you just use a single access point, like a Cisco 3802. Yeah. Hopefully you don't itself. use it. Yeah. Hopefully you don't use it as a standalone. But Hopefully you don't, but you could. Um, to a centralized model where you use a controller black backplane, something like a Mobility Express, which can run off, or into even the, the mysterious cloud. cloud. Which we um, don't have any here. We don't have any cloud controllers because they're cloud. in the cloud. Yeah. We wouldn't have it here. We would we just it. have a piece of cloud. And so this main indoor model here, we'll start just talking about APs. Yeah. Um, Let's go right into it. Let's do it. Is what we like to call an omni antenna. So the omni antenna sends your signal in a donut shape down, essentially, which is really good for covering office buildings, your carpeted vertical space. Mm -hmm. Um, it's the most widely used. It's the most widely used AP, and unfortunately, sometimes it's misused in the yeah. sense that you should have had something a little different, but everybody's like, oh, Omni, coverage, 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 I need to see green. So, yeah, this is a Omni antenna, internal access point. I think you've got something yeah. similar. I've got a smaller version, and this one is used a lot in hospitality or in dorm rooms. It's got a smaller form factor. And this one you would actually mount on the wall because you can tell on the back it's got a wall plate and also even a PoE port. So when you mount it in the wall, connect that cable, and then that faces the room that it's in. And also underneath it, it's got some ports. Oh, nice. And if you ever needed, you know, a desk version, you just set that right there on your desk. Oh, that's pretty. And this is new. That's this is the first market. time I think I've seen this one. Me it's too, cute. in person. Yeah. yeah. Nothing like your own little personal wireless network. Yeah, and so that AP you have there, that's the newer AP from Cisco. Yeah. You've got uh, like your 1800, 2800, 3800 series. Mm -hmm. This one is the 1815W. This one's fairly new as well, and this one's a much newer one. Which one's that? Uh, I think that is the 1815I. Uh, yeah. It's right right on the desk. So it's it's right on the very desk nice. For those small little office spaces that don't need a whole lot of capacity, yeah. they're essentially just more of a local area. Yeah. So, so when is a internal uh, omnidirectional antenna not used? Well, you can even direct the RF. Essentially, not every, you don't always want your RF everywhere. Sometimes you just need to get into a focused area. So that's where you move to something like this, which is a very similar to this, yeah. except the antennas are on the outside. Yeah, you got connectors there. Yeah. Well, let me rephrase that. You have connectors for antennas on the outside. Never turn this on and use it without an antenna connect. Yeah. That's a bad day. So these are just covers there these are covers for the connectors. For your connectors. Um, and so you use something similar to an antenna like this. And I like to use directional or semi-directional antennas a lot because I like to, to, to f send my signal where I want it to be. And I use this on ceilings or even on mounts because you can mount it right here and direct it to, say, oh, your yeah. face. Yeah. But when you really need some signal. Ooh. Use something like this. That is a stadium antenna. That's a stadium antenna. Yeah. This is when you got that high up space, and you just want to connect and say hi to somebody. Yeah. And you want to create those cell, uh, those zones, right? Those cell areas for your wireless network. And then, um, if you go to events or conferences like in Vegas, like yes. Cisco Live, you'll you see antennas see like these hanging off of the top of their convention centers. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. And then also, if you've got outdoor deployments, you got this big hunk, hunk of AP right here. It's yeah. got some uh, external connectors for 
uh, antenna is here in the top and the bottom. It's rugged, you know, it's meant to withstand the environment outdoors. And I actually have two of these deployed on in my environment, and it works oh, pretty well. Nice. Aren't these, these are meant for IP, with just a rating on them, right? Rain, rain snow, sleet, wind? Yeah. <laughs> Everything, yeah, and I use the one with the internal antenna built in, so they've got one that's like an omnidirectional. So yeah, we just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick overview. Yeah, we wanted to stop by Cisco, go back to our roots, working with Cisco Wireless, and of course as Cisco champions, we wanted to you know, come by and say hi to our friends and say thanks to Lauren for you know, helping us out, helping us out, providing yeah. some space for us and letting us use some of this equipment. Crash in the lab, you know yeah. what I mean? How often do you get to come and, you know, talk yeah. and learn and meet talk people with, in the yeah, lab? Talk with yeah. people who write those documents online and test the equipment and be able to tell us, hey, this is how we should use it. Or if, you, if you're looking to figure out how to deploy something like this, that's what you go, you go to cisco.com and search for go. the document. Yeah. So as usual, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, comments, ideas, let us know. And don't forget... Remember where we subscribing? Again? Yeah, subscribe wherever yeah. wherever the subscribe where the button is. is right there. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. <laughs>